Well, thank you so much for being there with us here on Splash 105.5 FM, your integrity station. It's five minutes past eight o'clock today, Friday, the 8th of January, 2021. My name is Charity Jerome, and it's time for us to go beyond the surface. I did mention to you uh, that today we have uh, quite a special edition. We have something special we're talking about, and it's in uh, collaboration with the BBC. So this morning we've got Al Riddell from the BBC and Feifei joining us uh, on Beyond the Surface to tell us more about something that the BBC is working on. Good morning, guys. Nice to have you here. Good morning. Hi, Charity. Hi, Feifei and Riddell. Nice to have you. So uh, let me just get on straight to the questions and ask you. Uh, I know that this competition is particularly about podcasts. Why did you choose to do a competition about podcast at this time? Let's just set the background with that, shall we? Great. Shall I take that one, Feifei? Sure, sure. Great. Um, well, here at the BBC World Service, we are you know, making a big effort to get all our podcasts out there into the world. Podcasts are amazing. You can download them and listen to them at your convenience. They're the most intimate form of radio possible. And we want all the best ideas uh, and we want the best ideas from Nigeria, Kenya and uh, South Africa this year for our international podcast competition. I'm really excited about what kind of ideas we might get and uh, it's so great to have, you know, be on your program this morning to tell you more about it because there might be one of your listeners out there who's thinking, should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? I'm here to say absolutely do it. All right. Uh, That's quite interesting. Uh, Well, for those who perhaps are wondering which podcasts we're talking about and what this whole competition uh, is about, uh, I just want to quickly put out this information that the BBC World Service is putting together an international podcast competition uh, that's open to people in Nigeria, in Kenya, and also in South Africa. Um, That's why we're having this to create some form of awareness for podcasts here in Nigeria, particularly in Oyo State, so that they can be aware of this opportunity. And if they do have ideas, you know, put them together in the entries and maybe, you know, try out their luck and see if it actually will get them in. So, Fefe, this next question will be to you. Who can participate in this comp- um, uh, podcast competition? Absolutely anyone can participate as long as um, they don't have um, any broad, broadcast uh, experience and they don't have credits on an, a, on a commercial podcast. So absolutely anyone who has an amazing idea and um, who has read through the terms and conditions of this competition is eligible to participate. I did read those terms and conditions and uh, one particular part caught my attention. I think you mentioned it just briefly. Anyone listed as creative, uh, creatively participating in the pitch or who creatively participates in the submitted audio must not be a professional, whether as a broadcaster, a vlogger, or posters of audiovisual material. Is there any particular reason why you, why you are excluding this set of people? Uh, I don't mind taking that, Faith. Well, I think... Okay, all right, cool. Um, no, uh, j- just to add to what uh, Faith said, um, yeah, absolutely. You also need, for this competition, 18 or over... Um, and the entry does need to be in English as well. And the podcast idea you submit can't already exist as a podcast or a radio program. Um, but in terms of why we are seeking out non-professionals here, it's because we want to reach beyond the established media professional circles at the BBC. You know, we have a commissioning process that's long established, but we want to go beyond our bubble, beyond the professional bubble, and find somebody who, you know, has a dream to make a podcast and maybe hasn't had the chance to do that yet or doesn't know how to do that. And we want to really reach out beyond um, professionals. So, yes, you, 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 you are, aren't eligible if you have a uh, you know, broadcast uh, media experience or a credit on a professional podcast. So that's a podcast that has advertising on it or is funded by a company. Okay. Uh, perhaps we should try to be a little more uh, specific now in terms of the ideas. What type of ideas are you looking for? And are there specific content for this podcast competition that you're looking to get? Mm-hmm. 
Fei Fei. Okay, so um, we're looking for original ideas, you know, everything from any, any kind of genre apart from comedy and um, scripted audio dramas. So those are the ideas we're looking for and it has to resonate with women as well. So anything you've been thinking of, you've been sitting on for a while, that's your podcast idea um, or you think is a brilliant idea for a podcast and has uh, longevity to it because uh, a couple of episodes we produce on that idea, you know. So the idea has to be solid, uh, fun if possible, but just not comedy and scripted audio drama. All right, but when you say original, uh, how original is original? Because it seems like everybody gets... uh, inspiration from other people's work so um there's almost a podcast about everything already as we have it so when you say original are they like areas you're looking to cover with the originality how do you define original in these terms the the main the main thing that would describe original in this scenario is just your own personal touch to it You know, because as you said before, there are lots of ideas out there and people just tend to replicate and uh, whatnot. But how personal it is to you and how somebody else can relate to it, you know, because if there's not that personal touch, then um, it wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, unique to you. It wouldn't be unique to you. Your idea would just be, you know, something basic. Okay, uh, Al, do you want to add something to that? Yeah, I agree with everything Fei Fei said. And we are just looking for something that, you know, we haven't heard before. And that might be in the way the idea, you know, it might be about a, a topic we all know about, but it might be a new way of approaching it, a new angle on an already established topic. Hmm. You know, and it can be about absolutely anything, this. Obviously, as long as it's not scripted drama or comedy, it can be about anything. So we're so excited to see what passions people have, what uh, you know views people have, what ideas people have for who they want to take part in this podcast. Yeah, it's, the, you know, the goal is wide open here. Hmm. Uh, and, and I think it's, uh, it's important to add that podcasts have become quite popular in this part of the world. A lot of more people are beginning to get interested in podcasting. Could that be part of the reason why you're um, exploring this area of of broadcasting if you like oh i'd say definitely yeah we're seeing you know um i mean africa loves podcast and it's only growing all around africa and especially in kenya nigeria and south africa and these are uh, three of the countries where we tend to have our highest downloads for our podcasts so we already the world service have a couple of brilliant podcasts out there we have the comb which combs through the continent for a a personal story every week and we're also launching one um very shortly actually in a couple of weeks called uh, africa daily which is a daily news uh podcast which approaches the news in an original and creative way so um we are seeing the figures boom and we are seeing uh uh yeah people loving podcasting and we just really want to be a part of that okay all right uh you guys uh providing a lot of information and i'm sure um uh, a lot of people who are listening at this moment will be wondering how can they enter for this competition when is this starting when does it end what are the guidelines Fei Fei. Yeah, anything i leave out okay uh, there's lots of information here so apologies for all the information um but we launched the competition on monday and it closes on january the 22nd and that will be at 2 p.m in nigeria um to enter it's really simple just head to our website it's bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcast competition or you can just Google BBC Podcast Competition and you'll see us on the front page or go to the BBC World Service Twitter page and at the top you'll see we've pinned our launch video and links to the website to the top. It's really simple to enter. You just need to write 500 words about your podcast idea and upload a two-minute audio um, file that can just be done on your phone. It doesn't need to be uh, produced in any fancy way and that's just you explaining why you think this idea is a brilliant idea. And as long as you meet the terms and conditions, the eligibility criteria that's all on the website, you can go for it and you'll hear from us hopefully soon. So that website again was bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcast competition. Anything I've missed, Fei Fei? No, you covered it all. 
Okay, that's amazing. So bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcast. Is that it? Yeah, bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcast competition. Okay, or, podcast you know, competition. I always find it easier to go to the Twitter. Go to the BBC World Service Twitter at BBC World Service. All right. Uh, apart from these, uh, are there any more information you'd want people to know or have concerning this competition? Um, I am particularly interested in getting to know what is, is a stake here. What do I win? What, what's, what's the big win at the end of this? Okay, so um, the winner gets to uh, have their podcast idea produced with a team at the BBC and um, distributed by the BBC as well. So that is um, a very catchy uh, prize for anyone who is in the Nigerian podcast industry because what we lack here is that team to produce. And since your idea has been deemed original and fit for this competition and for you to win, it's like basically living the podcast dream. Hmm. I can imagine. Uh, you get all the finances and all the support. Is is that part of it? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But let's go into the future then and ask who controls the intellectual property? Is it still mine or do I surrender that to the BBC? Um, so everything about this is all the terms and conditions. So I'll give you the brief, brief answer. Um, you... As the winner, you would own the uh, uh, intellectual rights on that, hmm. um, but the BBC would have a stake in that and how the podcast is distributed for a certain period of time. Um, but as I said, it's all spelled out on the terms and conditions. And if there's any more specific questions like that, please do send us an email. There's an email address on our website, bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcast competition, and you can ask away and we'll, we'll answer you in full. Okay. Uh, can the podcast be, uh, the podcast rather be creative in the use of any other language or does it have to be strictly English? It has to be strictly English. So entries must be in English language alone? Yes, yes. Entries must be in English language. Okay. How about the duration? We haven't covered that. Uh, is there a specified limit? in terms of duration uh, that the podcast should have? Well, I think when it comes to that, um, it depends on the idea. And um, with the production team, everyone will be able to decide exactly what length is fit for that type of podcast. Okay, so for Absolutely. starters... I'd also add that the, the beauty of podcasting is that they can be any length. It's um, freed from the restraints of traditional radio. So podcasts can be any length. They can be short, long whatever and um like Fei said you can uh, you know that will all come down the line when we decide how long it should be hmm. exactly. okay so i think we've just about covered uh, all uh, the aspects except there's anything you want to add to this just before we close Fei um i mean i just i'll just say that um it's a great time for podcasting and podcasters in nigeria and if you're a podcaster, I think you should maximize whatever this competition has to offer and tell that story because uh, there are lots of stories Nigerians are waiting to tell. So uh, we can't wait to hear them. Okay. Absolutely. I completely agree with that. And, and if, if you're thinking about entering, um, just do it. We want to hear from you. And um, there's loads more to read on the website. And we want to make your podcast so get in touch amazing all right just before we go can we just have a recap of uh the information you've given out now just in summary everything from the opening date closing date duration everything just briefly uh to to just re-emphasize it in the minds of the listener sure I, I don't mind doing a bit of that so um the competition is now open and it's a competition looking for new podcast ideas from kenya nigeria and south africa it closes on January the 22nd at 2 p.m. in uh, uh, your time over yeah. there. And what we're looking for is a brand new podcast idea from somebody who is 18 years or over, not already a professional in broadcast media or has a credit on a commercial podcast. The idea must be in English and the podcast idea must not already exist uh, as a podcast or a radio program. 
and right. for all the information you need, which is much more interesting than hear me talk about it, because we've got a cool video to see too, <laughs> you can head to our website, which is bbcworldservice.com forward slash podcast competition. Okay. Uh, one final question from my end. Uh, can there be like a collaboration? If two people want to work together, can that be sent in as a single entry or everybody has to do their thing separately? Um, so uh, it's one entry per person. So you can only enter once and each entry must have one person attached to it, if you mm. like. But if you are working as a duo and you want to do that, then absolutely make it clear in your written element of your entry that there is another person involved with this. Um, and, and we, you know, then we will know the full picture. Yeah. Okay. All right, Fifi, any last words just before we close? I would Maybe just I'll say I wish you. everyone the best in this. <laughs> I wish everybody the best in uh, the competition. And um, let's get our stories out there, especially since it's now an opportunity to tell stories that resonate with women. I know mm. that there's a lot of those stories that are, that are currently untold. So please, let's just be creative about it and put it out there. All right. Oh, thank you. Fefe, thank you so much for spending time to talk to us about this. We're looking forward to some amazing welcome, entries, particularly you. from Oyo Pleasure. State, that would blow your mind. And we hope that... You know, somebody from the spot gets that big accolade at the end of the day. Thank you so much uh, for speaking with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to have to take a commercial break right now. When we come back, I will again run through the specifics. If you are interested or considering joining the competition, don't go away.